What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. I just wanted to keep you guys posted about the brand new update we have got for the Galaxy S25 series. Samsung has started pushing out the security patch for December 2025. And currently I have got the Galaxy S25 Ultra over here and I am running the beta version of One UI 8.5. I have sideloaded this update since the official update is not available here in India. However, I have got some screenshots from X about the all new update, the security patch that we have got. Let's go to X here. Now there are many of you guys who have shared these screenshots here. Let me just pick up one of them and you can see the update size is 594.19 MB, which is pretty uh, big. Generally, we get around 400 to 450 MB of security patch, but this time it looks like we've got slightly a bigger patch, almost 600 MB, and it says December 1st security patch, and the version number ends with BYKS. And in the change log, it just talks about the security upgrades. Uh, we have got the device protected with improved security. These changes may vary depending on the model, country, or network, and blah, blah, blah. So all that is mentioned over here. So this is going to be a pure security patch but what's more exciting is the One UI 8.5 Beta 2 would be hitting very very soon here in India and in the few other beta eligible countries you guys are already enjoying the One UI 8.5 and believe me guys this update is huge I'm just in love with this now let's go to these settings here and let me go to about phone and here let me tap on software information and Android security patch level it'll take us to the Android bulletin here I scroll down here and tap on read and let's see what is being fixed here. Let's select Samsung and here is the details of December security patch. We have got many critical vulnerabilities fixed and uh, we have got high vulnerabilities. You can see there is a huge list of vulnerabilities here. All these have been fixed, moderate none, already included in previous updates, some of them. Not applicable to Samsung devices, not sure why they have mentioned this. And uh, here you can see, we have got some severe threats which have been patched. Out of bounds write in decoding metadata in fingerprint trustlet, vulnerability in bootloader, improper export of Android application components in dynamic lock screen, improper input validation and so on. So there are some uh, important uh, vulnerabilities which have been fixed and this is the reason why we need to keep our devices up to date. So go ahead and update your device. Now I'm not very sure whether we have got the latest patch for the Google Play system. I would not be able to verify it since I am uh, on the beta version of One UI 8.5. Still let's go ahead and check this out. Security and privacy, tap on updates and tap on Google Play System update. Okay, now this update is showing me November. Probably this got updated automatically when I installed the beta version of One UI 8.5. I'm not very sure. Let me know whether you've got the November Google Play System update or not on your Galaxy S25 series. Now all this while it was still September. After installing the 8.5 update, I did not actually check the Google Play System update, but now I'm seeing that the November update is already here. So let me know whether you've got it or not. That'll help the community. And of course, this One UI 8.5 sideloaded version comes with December security patch. So I am already on the uh, December patch on S25 Ultra and you can see this beautiful new update page which says One UI 8.5 and uh, it says your software is up to date. Now let me talk about the battery performance on One UI 8.5. Uh, on my phone on the first beta, it is really performing well. I'm getting close to about uh, seven to eight hours of screen on time as usual like before. I wouldn't say it has drastically improved or something, but yes, it is looking good. And man, the smoothness on the phone is just fantastic. You know, using the applications, opening the app drawer, quick panel, the brand new customizable quick panel that we have, and the notification panel, they all work just seamless. And look at these animations, they're just perfect. We've got some brand new applications like calculator, calendar, clock, internet, reminder, all of them are revamped and redesigned. They all look fantastic. I have made some detailed videos about all these applications. If you missed them, the description has got all the links. Do go ahead and check those videos out. And also to note here on the first beta, Samsung did remove a couple of options from the uh, camera. We now don't see two important features, dual recording and single take. Let me just pull my S24 Ultra here. As you can see, uh, these two features, dual recording, single take are not available over here. So, uh, sorry about that. So that is something which is missing on the camera application, but the kind of features they have added this time on the One UI 8.5, it looks as if this is a major upgrade. These changes should have been on One UI 8, but since there was some issue with the uh, release timelines for the One UI 7, they didn't do much about One UI 8, but then probably the team has been working on One UI 8.5. This is the first time we are seeing the 0.5 update. We usually see 0.1 one update during the new Galaxy phone launches and point one update comes with a very few changes and improvements but this time 8.5 
feels like it's One UI 9. That is what I can say. Now I will be posting a detailed video comparing the One UI 8.5 with One UI 8 to show you guys what has really changed. It is not just a feature addition, the entire UI has changed. There are a lot of different new elements which have been added. The color combinations, the floating menu bars, colorful gradient progress bars across the UI. So there are a lot of a lot to talk about. So stay tuned and be sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in this specific wallpaper that you see here, it is available on Wallverse. I've just added it yesterday, some superhero wallpapers. If you have not downloaded our wallpaper application yet, go ahead, check them out. Uh, the link is in the description. There are some amazing collections guys i'm sure you're going to love it so go ahead check out the application and while you do that don't forget to hit that like button thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe i'll see you in the next one soon cheers bye bye